Today, we are going to look at few basic conversations on greetings. We are going to learn how to greet in a firstly, formal situation, secondly, informal situation. Before we look at these conversations, it is best if we learn how to differentiate between tu and vu. What is tu and what is vu? Tu and vu mean you. Tu is used in an informal situation and vu is used in a formal situation. Now, you may ask, what is informal and what is formal situation? Okay, we use to when we are speaking to someone that we know well. It can be a family member, a friend, a close relation, and it is also used when an adult is speaking to a child or a teen, teenagers, okay? Or children and teenagers also use to when speaking to one another and two friends talking to each other that they know well. So, when speaking to a friend, you would use Comment va tu? Comment va tu? It means How are you? When to use vu? We use vu in a formal context to show respect. When speaking to someone that we do not know, you do not know, to someone which is older or in a professional or academic situation. For example, vu is used between a doctor and a patient, between an employee and a manager. A student also used vu when addressing to a teacher, but the teacher may use to to address to a student because the student is younger, definitely. And we use, um, student use vu to teacher because to, uh, they need to show respect, okay? So, when speaking to a manager in a workplace, you would use Comment allez-vous? Comment allez-vous? It means how are you? Right? But please remember, vous is also used as the plural subject pronoun when speaking to a group of people, whether these are close family, friends, or people that you do not know. Now, we can continue with our basic greetings between people in an informal situation and also a formal situation because now you know how to use to and how to use vu. Okay, in this first chapter, you have the title Bienvenue. I repeat that again. Bienvenue. Bienvenue means welcome. Okay, the subtitle is Bonjour. Bonjour means good day or good morning. Okay, let's look at the first two conversations, the first two dialogues you have here between Madame Eau Claire and Martin, okay, and Cécile and Pierre. Okay, we start with Madame Eau Claire and Martin. So, bonjour Martin. Bonjour Madame. Okay. Bonjour again, I repeat, it means good day or good morning. Okay, let's look at the second one. The second conversation between Pierre and Cécile. So, Salut Cécile, ça va? Salut! Oui, ça va. Et toi? Okay, uh, these two persons are friends because they use toi. Toi is you. Tu, it comes from tu. So, salut here means hello or hi. Okay? Just now, bonjour means good morning, good day. Salut here means hello or hi. 
Now, here you have Selma. Selma can be used in two contexts. The first one you can use as a question to ask, how are you? And the second you can use as a as a reply or response. You see, ça va. It means, okay, I'm fine. Okay? So you just change that into nation. Okay, let's look at the third um, conversation between Gabriel and Monsieur Blanc. Okay, between Gabriel and Monsieur Blanc. Okay, now this one is a formal situation. Bonsoir, Gabriel. Comment ça va? Bonsoir, Monsieur. Très bien. Merci. Et vous, Monsieur? Now, just now you see bonjour. Bonjour means good day or good morning. Bonsoir here means good evening. Now, you have seen ça va earlier. But now here you have comment ça va. It still means how are you. But let's look at how Gabriel replied. He said très bien. He said très bien. Très bien here means very good. And he also said merci. Okay, merci means thank you. Okay. And again here you have a vous, monsieur. Now, in the previous uh, dialogue you have a toi. A toi means and you in, a, in an informal situation. In a formal situation, use a vous and you, sir. Monsieur here means in shape of sir. Okay, you understand one? No? The, the previous dialogue is in an informal situation. The second, this one is in, in, in a formal situation. Okay? Now, let's look at the next dialogue. You have between Clément and Arissa. So, you have... Bonjour, je m'appelle Clément. J'habite à Lyon. I repeat again. Bonjour, je m'appelle Clément. J'habite à Lyon. Arissa replied. Salut, moi, je suis Arissa. Je suis Malaisienne. J'habite à Kuala Lumpur. Tu es belge? Salut, moi. Je suis Arissa. Je suis Malaisienne. J'habite à Kuala Lumpur. Tu es belge? Non, je suis français. Okay, now let's look at the, the dialogue uh, from Clément. Clément say, Bonjour, je m'appelle Clément. Je m'appelle Clément here means My name is Clément. Okay, or uh, if you translate literally, it means I call myself Clément, or simply my name is Clément. J'habite à Lyon means I live or I stay in Lyon. Right now, you have your salut. Moi, moi means me. Je suis Arissa. I am Aris. Instead of saying je m'appelle Clément, you can say je suis Arissa. So you can use my name is Clément as je m'appelle Clément. Or you can also use je suis Clément. I am Clément. But here you have je suis Arissa. I am Arissa. Je suis Malaisienne. I am Malaysian. Right? J'habite à Kuala Lumpur. Okay, now you have seen this uh, sentence. It means I live or I stay in Kuala Lumpur. Now, Arisa asked Clément, Tu es Belge? Tu es Belge. Belge is a nationality like Malaysian. Belge here means Belgian. People coming from Belgium, right? Okay, and the last one you have here. Non, je suis français. No, non here means no, but you say with a G. Non, je suis français. 
I am French. Okay, in this dialogue, you have you have uh, three nationalities. You have, the first one you have Belge, which is Belgian. Second one you have Malaysian, which is Malaysian. And the third one you have Francais, and it means French. Okay, now we move to the last conversation between Véronique et Valentin. Okay, Véronique said, Salut! Okay, you have said salut earlier. Okay, salut here can be used in two contexts. The first one is as hi or hello. Hi, hello. And the second one you can use as goodbye. Salut, bye-bye, alright? And here, Valentin replied, Au revoir, à bientôt. I repeat that again. Au revoir. Or you can say au revoir. Au revoir here means goodbye. A bientôt here means till we meet again. Okay? So that will be all for today. So please remember the, dif the difference between to and vous and how to use it. What is formal situation and what is informal situation and what are the basic greetings, okay? Right. Well, that's all for today. Merci beaucoup. Au revoir.